Hi, I'm Ann Shapiro, and I am the director of the Connecticut Storytelling Center, and we produce the annual Connecticut Storytelling Festival and Conference this year on April 23rd and 24th, coming to you virtually via Zoom. We're going to be offering a lot of different performances and workshops, and we are lucky to have Elisa Permain joining us. She's going to be giving two different workshops during the course of the day on the Saturday. One is on bullying, and the other is about forgiveness. So I want to ask you, tell us a, a little bit about each of those workshops and how do you connect that to storytelling? Well, to me, it's all totally connected, of course, because I teach and learn through story. So in maybe I'll take them one at a time uh, for bullying i think we learn best when we employ empathy when we can imagine stepping into someone's shoes who's been bullied then we can internalize that and be kinder hopefully so we will be thinking about what stories can help build empathy we will be also thinking about our own stories because i've found when i do this work in schools that when i can get the teacher to tell a story about her experiences, being bullied, being a bystander, being a bully, then the kids just eat it up and they want more. So that's one of my main goals is to help make us all storytellers of our own stories of experience. Um, there are many, many good stories that talk about the different aspects of what is bullying, first of all, so that we can really break it down and get it all uh not miss some of the more subtle aspects of bullying and um, so that, that that's helpful let's think um what else uh lots of important point to talk about is gossip and what it you know that's one of the crucial forms of bullying and there's a lot of good stories that teach about gossip and then from there we can do exercises where we talk about other strategies. How do you stop a gossip chain? How, what can you do to, you know, what else can you do besides passing something on? That sort of thing. Um, story, you can go from a story into an exercise where you give the kids alternative ways to respond because unfortunately like 84% of the time, kids will stand with the bully and only the remaining part will they stand with the target of bullying. So a story that shows bullying, you can then role play from that ways to be more empowered as a bystander to, to do the right thing. So that kind of, that's sort of the approach that I take with, with them, that it's, you've got to see, know what it is and have examples of people who've done something about it in a creative way. And so that's the bullying and then the forgiveness there are so many aspects to the tasks of the forgiveness process from just naming it, you know, this is what happened, uh, really being able to honor that that's happened to you and to grieving what you've lost in the process, to looking at it from different perspectives so that you don't take it so personally, uh, to uh, forgiving yourself, which is often at the very bottom of forgiveness. And all of these, uh, anger is one of the ones I love most to tell stories about is what we get from staying angry. And there's a lot of, and there's great stories about all of these things that then help us to understand the task a little bit. We internalize the task by hearing the stories. And then we can think about how does this apply to me? What is my story and how am I storying what happened? And how can I tell the story in a, in a healthier way? So it's completely for me all about how we story and how we can change the story. Instead of looking back to what happened, being stuck on that, we can look forward to what we want to happen. So that's kind of a nutshell of, of uh, the forgiveness process through story. Uh, it sounds very interesting. I think I think there are going to be a lot of people, I think of teachers especially, who will appreciate this kind of workshop. And, and then for the forgiveness one, it's like, 
Anybody could use that. <laughs> <laughs> there is no one who hasn't forgiven someone else, which is where we usually start, is just remembering stories of either having been forgiven or forgiving for smaller stuff, right? We all know how to do it. We just, uh, we forget when it's something a little bit bigger that stings more. And um, yeah, yeah. So it's, um, it cuts close to home. It's, you know, as a psychotherapist, which is the other part of my life, I, everyone who comes to me, you know, it may not be the reason they think they're coming to me, but there's always a story there, something they're holding about someone who's hurt them or someone they've hurt and the meaning they've made of it or, you know, being hurt themselves. So it's a lot of fun <laughs> to help people restory. Yes, it sounds wonderful. And I, I'm looking forward to the festival and looking forward to your workshop. I, I think it will be really, really helpful for a lot of people. Thank you oh, so great. much. Well, I'm looking forward to being there in spirit anyway. And uh, <laughs> yes, and, and I will look forward to seeing everybody on the 24th. All right. See you there. All right.